In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NH3 plus HF. This is ammonia plus hydrofluoric acid. First thing we would do is balance the molecular equation. This is already balanced. Next thing is to write the states. We're going to assume that these are both aqueous, AQ, and that the ammonium fluoride, ammonium compounds, very soluble, that would also be aqueous. So we're going to put AQ after that as well. So these are the states. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes apart into ions to get the complete ionic equation. So to do that, we have to know some things. Let's take a look at this table of common strong acids and bases. So on our table, we're looking for ammonia. We know that ammonia is a base, but it doesn't show up with our strong bases. That means it's not a strong electrolyte. It's a weak electrolyte. We're just going to write NH3, and we'll write the states later. HF, we're looking for strong acids, and it's not a strong acid. That means we can't split it apart either. When you put it in water, a little bit will dissociate, but very little. It's a weak electrolyte, weak acid. So we can put HF, we don't split that apart. And then for the ammonium fluoride, ammonium compounds, very soluble. So ammonium compound, the whole thing has a charge of one plus, the fluoride ion, one minus. So we'll end up with NH4 plus, plus the fluoride ion, F minus. So this is our net ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. The thing is, there's nothing different on either side. So this is the complete ionic equation and the net ionic equation. I'll clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation for NH3 plus HF. So this is our net ionic equation for NH3 plus HF. The thing to remember here is when we have these weak electrolytes, and you really just have to memorize these two as weak electrolytes, they're not going to dissociate. So they can be dissolved. They can be aqueous and not break apart very much into their ions. You'll note that charge is conserved. We don't have any charges on this side, we see, but we have a positive and a negative. They cancel out, so the charge is conserved. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on each side. So it's a balanced equation. Mass is conserved as well. One last thing, we want to talk just briefly about this NH3 here, because when we put that in water, it actually reacts with the water. So NH3 in water, and you end up with ammonium hydroxide, NH4OH, or you end up with a little. It's an equilibrium. Most of it stays as ammonia, but a bit of it comes as this ammonium hydroxide. So we could write a net ionic equation for ammonium hydroxide, a base, plus our acid, hydrofluoric acid. If we did that, we'd end up with a net ionic equation that would look different than what we have here. There's a link to a video in the description of this video on what that looks like. But this is our net ionic equation, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.